Hey guys, back to another video, and today I'm going to show you how to get XBMC, just right here, on your iPod Touch. And yes, XBMC, the full version, not XBMC Remote, XBMC. So this will require Cydia. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open Cydia. So this is a jailbreak tweak. It does work perfectly. I haven't installed any sources yet, but I'll show you how to install one channel later. I just installed XBMC, like literally right just right now i'm just recording this video right after i just installed it so yeah let me just show you guys what to do so i may have a lot of changes i don't know what just happened there once i installed that i just had like 30 free changes on my city so that was weird but i don't know what exactly happened anyways the first thing you want to go do is go to manage and you want to go to sources you're going to add a new source that's going to be Team XVMC, this source right here. So you want to press edit and add. And the source you want to add in, you want to type in mirror dot xbmc dot org slash apt slash ios slash. So that is what you want to type in. You want to add the source right there. But I'm not going to add it because I already have it in. Once you added it, it will take uh, not too long, but about one minute. You open this up, Team XBMC, and you want to install I, uh, XBMC iOS. So you just press um, the um, install button and just wait about two minutes, and then it will install. Once you're done installing, well, you will have XBMC right here. I will can actually suggest you to actually respring because if you don't, maybe it'll bug. And also, once you install XBMC, maybe they'll tell you you need some upgrades. Just click uh, upgrade it, like upgrade what you need, the essentials. Because they said if you don't upgrade them, they'll probably like um, bug your XBMC. So just do as it says, and it'll work perfectly. I can show you what it looks like. So once you enter, it's just a dark screen. It 